Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about a new features added in Constraint Layout 2.0. So in last video, we discussed that a group barrier and the placeholders were added in 1.1, Constraint Layout 1.1, right? So similarly over here in a Constraint Layout 2.0, some another cool features are added, right? So today we are going to discuss one of them. So today we are going to discuss a uh, flow, right? So what is the use of flow? What do you mean by flow? What is flow, right? So flow is a new virtual layout that is added in 2.0. That is for building chains that can wrap to the next line. This is very important, right? It allows positioning of referenced widgets horizontally or vertically. So we are not going to create the different views for that, right? All are under the umbrella of flow and then we can apply styles to all that view, right? Same as chain. So we have discussed chain, spread inside, spread. These are the properties we have already discussed, right? So you know chaining, right? So or even another section of the screen when they run out of screen. This is very important, right? So here you can see that it provides a dynamic sizing. So what is the meaning of dynamic sizing? Like flow is useful when you are designing out multiple views in a chain, but you are not quite sure how big the container will be at the runtime. Okay, right? So this particular thing will explain us that suppose say for example, if I have this particular screen, right? So this is one view. This is another view. This is another view. And some of the view is like that. When you arrange the views in a horizontal chain, then if the views are more multiples, then it will go out of your screen, right? So this is supposed to for your container. And here, this particular box and this particular box is going out of the particular container, right? So this is your screen, okay? So you don't know how the size, like suppose if you are creating the application for photo gallery, right? So we are always dealing with the multiple photos. Okay, so earlier what we are, we are doing, we were using linear layout and grid layout, right? So in that we are going to do. But what is the problem in that? Whenever you are using a linear layout, then it can only provide you the access to horizontal line. Suppose if you want to move from this line to the new line with the chaining, then it is not possible, right? So that is the solution of that problem flow is the solution of that particular problem, right? So here you can understand if we, whenever your views are multiple in a horizontal chain or in a vertical chain and it is going beyond the screen size, then flow comes under the picture. Some other future uh, features are also there that you can use that features, right? And you can create a complex design in a very simple way. So let's see. First of all, we discuss uh, various modes of a flow and then we can go for the demo. So one of the most important option of the flow is a wrap mode. So this is what we are talking about. This is none, chain or align, right? So these are the three possible options we have. So we'll discuss in a demo. Next is a gap. So gaps are spacing between views or wrapped lines, right? So that particular thing, you can imagine that, suppose this is my particular container, this is my mobile screen, this is my one view, right? And this is my second view, right? So the gap is this, this is a gap. Or suppose if my one view is over here, right? Then this is a gap this particular space is a gap, right? So that defines and it is always between zero and one, right? So now styles, three styles we have spread, spread inside and packed. 
we already discuss all these things in my previous video if you are not sure then you can go and watch the video next mode is a bias mode so biasing only works on a packed flow style right so whenever you are applied you are applied a packed style then and then bias will be applied and it is again 0.0 to 1.0 in the float and the alignment will be either on horizontal or in a vertical direction right so let's jump on to the particular demo right so to understand that particular modes different modes let's create one application right so here to reduce the time i have already created eight buttons with different stylings you can also create a card you can also create a drawable resources and all that right but to understand a simply this particular concept i have created eight buttons right so how to add the flow so first of all you can go over here navigate to this particular flow and you can add the flow the second way is here you can just go and here you just type the flow right and it will be available over here but what is the condition it is a part of 2.0 so you just need to navigate to that particular gradle build right and here you can notice that this is the particular constraint layout right it is a 2.0.4 right so this must be there if it is not there then include this line in your project and it is it will be added now let's jump on to the particular design so there are various ways as you know uh, directly you can just go to the coding section and you can add the flow and here i'm just going to use the ui now so let's add the flow so one flow is added so here is the flow you can observe that flow is not visible okay so if you want then you can also open a blueprint okay so this particular flow will be there now i want to add the views under the flow so i can just select all these and come down to the flow right so here my buttons are there so let me quickly arrange them in a one particular order order so you can understand okay now you can first observe this now here in this particular thing you can observe these elements are going beyond the size of my container that is my screen mobile screen size you can observe this spacing you can observe this you can observe also in a blueprint is very clear visible right so to overcome this particular problem we are going to define a different modes of this particular flow right so you can just either select the flow okay you can just go to the first of our uh, flow that is already added right you can observe the flow over here that it is not creating a different views under it right it is just referencing the ids so here you can observe sub button 1 2 3 4 up to 8 so whatever ids of your button so that is going to be added over here right so this is the particular thing so first of all uh, we are just going to give the constraint to this particular flow right so upper constraint and side constraint i am just providing right you can just observe you can just constraint start to and top of parent you can observe that that will be added okay now let me uh, go to the design view so here you will get the better idea open the attribute now uh, i'm going to close this blueprint only design will be there okay now over here you can just observe the thing we have a width and height right so first of all you can just define the orientation of the flow so we can define orientation either in a horizontal or in a vertical so i'm just going to define the horizontal right so whenever you are defining the horizontal style right and you can observe below that there is a flow wrap property so wrap mode 
over here right now it is none default is none so if you observe it is already none if i make it chain then you can observe this it is going to be chained right equally distributed if i am going to change it to the aligned then it is going to be aligned right so you can observe the spacing over here all the three differences again i'm going to make it chain again i'm going to make it none and again i'm going to make it align so you can observe the things right now suppose say for example here we have this particular things we don't have the gaps so maximum element so first of all let's discuss the maximum elements rep property so if i want to define only three members i want maximum in a first row so i'm just going to define three so you can observe one two three four five six seven and eight suppose if i'm going to define four elements then it will go to the four elements okay right now with the horizontal gap you can just provide the particular horizontal gap so uh, right now i'm going to define 20 dp so this particular gap will be there suppose i want to define vertical gaps so again 20 dp so there is a vertical gap so here you can understand the gap more right so this is the particular 20 dp this is the particular 20 dp right okay now over here i'm just removing this for now okay and i'm just making a width layout width as a match constraint okay now you can this is the match constraint right now let's discuss about the particular horizontal bias suppose style so here we have a spread spread inside and packed right so let me put it in a packed okay now if i change the bias that is zero so that will be gone to that okay so whenever the packed is assigned then and then only it will affect okay so that's why you can see when i make it one then it goes to the right side suppose if i want it in a middle so 0 0.1 0 0.5 so that is over there right so that is the bias now spread inside default spread right so you can observe all these three things are there okay all these three things are there again packed spread inside and a spread default right so like this you can change a different properties or attributes over here guys right and you can see it can be easily maintained right so here if i want to create a same application right then i need to create linear layout one linear layout two linear layout three so row by row i need to create a linear layout then i need to maintain that right but instead of that if you just use the flow then you can see how easily it is managed right apart from this there are lots of properties you can try it out right so but these are the basic and important properties are there so i discuss this right all the declared properties you can observe over here and you can change it over here let's say it's a vertical so you can see it's a vertical now if i make it two then you can see right same application if i make it horizontal then it will work like this right so that's it guys for this video i hope you find this video very useful for your next applications right thanks for watching